Hi, I'm Victoria and in this video I'm going to share with you what a web design questionnaire is and why it is important to have one for your clients. Plus, I will give you 15 question examples to include in your own list for web design client interviews. Let's dive in! A website design questionnaire refers to a list of questions that you as a website designer should prepare to ask potential clients. With this questionnaire, you will be able to understand their business better and meet their website needs. A web design questionnaire is like a website brief. It's something that you will always refer to when designing a website. It should compile essential information about the website, client, and project. For example, it may include the creation timeline, budget, website expectations, and other details. The main goal of a web design questionnaire is to ensure you and your client are on the same page. This is important both before and after an agreement is made. Since you are providing a web design service, the questionnaire can help you decide whether or not you will be accepting a particular project. At the same time, the web design questionnaire is equally crucial during the project's development. By preparing well-written questions, you can get precise information about your customer's desired web design. This is especially useful to prevent lengthy revisions later on and helps you cultivate a common vision. For the clients, the web design questions let them convey what they want in detail to avoid confusion and miscommunication. It also helps clients narrow down how they want the website to look and function. With this information, you can successfully craft a functional user interface, an excellent user experience for the client's target audience. Ultimately, it will help you satisfy the client's needs so they can achieve their objectives. Now that you know how a web design questionnaire can impact the website designing process, let's move on to the example questions. There are 15 example questions listed in this video, but you can add, reduce, or reword them according to your needs. Now let's review them one by one. Please share the basic details of your business. This is an essential introductory question. It will help you get to know the client on the basic level, especially if it's a brand new business and doesn't have an online presence. You can start by asking about the business name, brand, and the core business products. Then dig deeper into the company's background, vision and mission statements, values, goals, and target market. The client's answers will act as a blueprint of what features or functionality should be present on the website. For example, the product page for an e-commerce business selling home appliances will look different from a company selling photography services, and both websites will have a different customer journey. This kind of question also applies to customers who want to build a personal website, like a digital portfolio. All you need to do is make some adjustments to the wording. Do you have a brand guideline? A brand guideline is a set of rules about how a company wants to be perceived by its customers. It may include color palettes, fonts, ornaments, or characteristics that should be present in all of the company's communication channels. Having these guidelines prepared by your client is beneficial to create a consistent web design that best represents the company. Then discuss these guidelines with the client and offer any suggestions you may have as a website designer. For instance, suggest a different tone if the color they requested looks oversaturated or doesn't match the overall requested design concept. If the client doesn't have any brand guidelines, ask if they have existing design materials like business cards, banners, stamps, or packaging. From there, draw some inspiration and ideas about their preferences and propose a design recommendation for them. What services or products do you offer? Another vital point to consider is the main products or services the client offers. By having this information, you can gain insight into what kind of website to build and determine its main purpose. You can also discuss the expected visitor's journey from the moment users first enter the website to the last action they should do before clicking off. To demonstrate, if your client wants to sell products online, you will have to prepare e-commerce features like product pages, order forms, payment gateways, and shipping options. 
On the other hand, if the client is selling a service, such as coaching or mentoring session, you will need to prepare booking forms, payment gateways and scheduling system. Who is your target audience? Any website should be relevant to the target audience to successfully achieve its objectives. So, this question is important to guide you how you will design the features, functionalities and look and feel of your client's website. If the client has no clear target audience, encourage them to create a buyer persona, which includes basic information about the target user's demographics like age, job title and hobbies. These insights will affect the website's user's journey and determine how crucial elements like images and calls to action are displayed on the website. Knowing the target audience will also help you design the most user-friendly digital experience. Please give several examples of websites you like and why. This question can help you to develop a clearer idea of your client's preferences and narrow down the design possibilities to fulfill their objectives. It also gives the client a chance to refer to websites they have been eyeing while researching the perfect website design. Having real-life examples of your client's favorite websites can also be beneficial for them to demonstrate any special requests. For instance, they like how one website uses animations on the product pages or how another utilizes parallax scrolling for the picture gallery. However, know that this question should only act as a way of gathering inspiration. Do not copy the website examples as they are. What features do you wish to have? For this question, ask the client to be as specific as possible in describing any special functions or features for the website. The answers you will get significantly depend on the client's industry as well as their goals. For example, do they want to create a booking feature, a custom contact form, a newsletter pop-up, social media integration, CTA buttons or virtual gallery? What content do you want to create? Including this in your web design client interview questions will help guide how you structure the website pages. You can also ask follow-up questions to get a more precise image of how to design seamless navigation for website visitors. Instead of asking technical questions like how many pages the client wants on their website, ask them in terms of goals. For example, do you want to include a blog? How many menu categories do you want to have? Or do you want to educate your audience? From there, you will gain insights into how you should design a navigable website structure while still fulfilling the client's objectives. In what country do you reside? This question is particularly important for dedicated online stores or any type of website that has some type of e-commerce functionality. The first reason is you will need to set up a shipping method to ensure seamless product delivery. For this, the client needs to decide whether to connect the website to a third-party shipping company or whether they will handle shipping independently. After that, the payment system should come into consideration. Ask if your client will accept international payments and in what currency they want transactions to be made. The other important factor related to your client's location is the page loading speed. Your client's and the target audience location will determine if you need to use a CDN or content delivery network for the website. What are the unique selling points of your business? All clients want a website design that can outperform their competitors and win over customers. One way to achieve this objective is by learning the client's unique selling points or competitive advantage. These can be presented as a core part of your client's website, and it can be something as simple as a faster product delivery service or better return policies. Knowing your client's competitive advantage can help you incorporate elements that will ensure the target audience has an excellent first impression. Do you have an existing website? Asking this question will determine whether you need to revamp an existing website or develop an entirely new one from scratch. It is also useful to know whether you need to conduct a migration process for the client. For existing websites with a lot of data, like blogs or e-commerce websites with hundreds of entries, you will need to carefully strategize how to conduct the data migration process. Also, ask the client how they want them to be displayed on the new website. Do you need a hosting service? 
service. If your client already subscribes to a web hosting service, this will determine which tools you can use to build a new website. You will also need to consider what resources are included in the subscription plan. To start revamping a client's existing website, they need to grant you access to the control panel. In addition, find out if there's a particular procedure you need to follow from the hosting provider for website development. On the other hand, the website creation process is simpler if the client goes through you to register for a hosting service and domain name. Discuss the options with your client and explain the pros and cons to ensure they are involved in this process. What is your expected price range for this project? Based on your client's answers to this and the previous questions, you can start measuring the costs involved for the web design project. Don't forget to discuss the budget they are willing to spend and explain that it can influence the types of tools or features that can be used or included in the final product. From here, you may also ask whether they have a strict or adjustable budget. If they choose the latter, you can provide a few proposals at the different price points and let the client decide which one suits their needs best. From there, you can negotiate a deal or even offer additional services like custom logo design or website maintenance. When would you like to have the website ready? This question will affect the timeline for completing the project and influence the due dates for the website deliverables. The client's answer can also help you to create a prioritization list of which website elements you should get done first. Having an exact launch date also helps ensure that your team is on track to manage time efficiently and complete the project as requested. Carefully consider if you are able to commit to the client's deadline and make sure that you can produce an excellent product in that time frame. Not being able to pull through, you can affect the client's trust in you or your agency. This is another reason why asking detailed questions is highly recommended. Because the more details you know about the project scope, the better you can calculate an accurate web design timeline. Who will take over the website? This question is important for the website maintenance and updates after the launch date. Ask if they will hire a developer or if the client will manage it themselves. If they want to do it themselves, ask about their technical expertise so you can explain how to best maintain the website. Standard maintenance tasks can include domain name and hosting renewals, security updates and website backups. If you think the client needs further support after the website goes live, consider offering your post-launch maintenance services. Do you have any extra requests? This question is perfect to add at the end of your questionnaire, so your client can write down other information or ideas that weren't covered in the previous questions. From here, you can accommodate special requests and craft a truly unique service that's tailored to the client. And that is how you can create a web design questionnaire. If you have other go-to questions to include in the web design questionnaire, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and share this video if you find it helpful and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.